menopause, or the menopause, as my British colleagues say, is one of the biggest and most interesting overlooked opportunities that I've seen coming to light in the past few years. After all, brands are all about solving consumer pain points, and for many women, this is a massive pain point. The title of this new book about menopause sums it up pretty well. It's a huge market. By 2025, there will be over 1 billion women globally who are postmenopausal, so that's defined as one year after period stop. The market also includes women experiencing perimenopause, which typically starts in one's 40s. The thing is that it's not predictable when you'll go through perimenopause or what's going to manifest in terms of symptoms. That's the opportunity and the challenge. That's from the CEO of Electra Health, one of the interesting new telemedicine startups in the space. As Electra says, one of the reasons menopause has been ignored for so long is the taboo around discussing it. This is gradually fading away, and I think we'll see it disappearing pretty quickly as millennials get into their 40s over the next decade. One big area of opportunity here is education and overall hand-holding through this phase of life. Most women are quite unprepared. So stepping into the information vacuum, we see startups like Caria, an app which helps women understand their symptoms and provides cognitive behavioral therapy, nutritional advice, and more. Then we're also seeing beauty brands targeting the negative effects of menopause on skin. These include Chorus, the Greek company, Avon, and several others. Some beauty brands focus specifically on menopause. There's also a crop of new brands that offer a suite of menopause products, including skincare, supplements, and even sexual wellness products. Here we see the startup Womaness. And this uh, sexual health is a new area that menopause brands are stepping into, which reflects a broader trend where sex is now really seen as integral to wellness overall. This mindset is reflected in a very new kind of pharmaceutical ad, which is for the estrogen drug Embexy. As you can see, it's a kind of Bridgerton-esque setup featuring a midlife woman, and the agency behind this, McCann, has said that the ad aims to recontextualize what a menopausal woman looks, acts, and feels like in 2021. This kind of positive and vibrant imagery and language really goes a long way when engaging this demographic. There are numerous other opportunities in menopause, from fashion to technology, which a stylist has covered, I looked at the menopause supplements market in a recent report and also watch for our upcoming report on midlife renewal.